Welcome back, guys. Um, I think we need to have a sit down and chat. Possibly a come to Jesus moment where we actually take our biases aside and talk about what the real issues that we're seeing in everyday entertainment are. Whoa! Now, there used to be a time where I'm going to bring up the word politics. I know we don't normally talk politics. I know I'm not taking a single side in this at all. But there is a time when entertainers and people in the entertainment industry did not talk about who they vote for. They didn't talk about who they supported for the president who will be gone in four years or eight years if that particular person's preference was lucky. No, it used to be about the entertainment itself, the movie, the music, the TV show, the book they were writing. When they went on press tours, they didn't involve their personal stuff with it. And politics is personal. It develop, I mean, it affects your personal life. So whenever you're going out to promote a new movie, a new video game, um, a, just a new piece of entertainment, art, so to speak, why are you involving outside things into that? And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit about today, because we're seeing it from both sides. And then what? here's one of the first things that I want to hit on. Your political desire is your opinion on how things should be, you know, how the country should be run. Emphasis on opinion. No one, you're never going to find an entire stretch of all the people that agree with your opinion because it can't be backed up by facts. It's just how you feel. I think that's something that, that's a little bit worth looking into because you are automatically fragmenting the viewership, the possible viewership, the possible people that might be giving money to make your product succeed. It gets a little iffy. We're not going to get that too iffy into it, but we've been seeing quite a bit of this kind of stuff recently. And all right, let's just go. Let's start off with this because I've been talking about Dragon Age for for a long time. So we have the new game director is trans and that's rad. OK. All right. I mean, you know, if you think so, that's that's your own opinion. Case in point, we also have uh, someone that I think everybody knows and at least used to love the character. We have Mark Hamill going on uh, political tirades all the time. We now have this. Zachary Levi endorsing someone of the other uh, side of the aisle. After RFK suspends his campaign. Now, the reason why I bring up both sides of the aisle is because they are treated vastly differently. And you see this with squabbles just with your daily co-workers within families is why you don't talk about religion and politics at the dinner table at the, uh, around the Thanksgiving buffet. It's because it divides people. That's almost it almost seems like it was invented to do that. I know the original thought process was probably more along the lines of having two opposing sides come together and parlay. But that is not what we have turned it into because we've made everything personal. And so if someone um, goes and, and supports a certain candidate, the other side immediately latches, latches onto that and lashes out. Same thing with the other side. And why are we doing this in entertainment? This is, I'm not going in to a political statement or anything like that. Why, in when it comes to entertainment, why is that allowed to be? Maybe allowed is not the right word, but like, why have we fallen into that? Why does it matter? Why does politics and your own personal things have to go into what is a specifically supposed to be escapism, entertainment, turn your brain off, go have fun. Your fun, the things that you did 
ah, take a girl out to the movies. Well, let's go watch a film. Let's go watch one of the stories. Let's go sit down, you know, while we're dealing with the kids, turn on the soap operas and everything, because I can shut my brain off, enjoy the story for whatever it is, because I know it's not real. Why now are we going into, and it's been happening for quite a long time. It's not like I'm new to this game. But why now are people going on press junkets and press tours and they have to bring up their politics? I have to give a shout out to the band The Interrupters. I saw them on uh, last night at uh, Sum 41's final tour. I saw them and they said something that was completely ambiguous. There was no politics whatsoever. They just said, we see what's going on. We know why people want to be around here because y'all are freaking awesome. All respect to the people in the audience just here for the music. So I have to give a shout out to them. I went with someone from the fellowship and both of us were just sitting there talking. It's like, I really hope nobody says anything political because it's become that mainstay. It's become something we all expect nowadays because people can't shut their mouths and just let their music speak for them. They can't shut their mouths and let their video games speak for them. We see this all the time. And how are, well, we're seeing it now with p things like Concord, you know, that video game and Dustborn and things like that, where they're trying to put political I ideologies and tout them. And you wonder why people don't show up and give you money. No, we wanted a good game. We wanted a good film. If you wanted political messaging, you should have gone somewhere else. You should have ran for office. I'm sure your local school board needs some good people who are actually cared about the children. You should do stuff like that. If you want to make a good game, focus solely on making a good game. If you want to write a good story and have it come off into film, solely focus on writing a good story and even if you want to make a political thriller film, you need to leave it open-ended so that both sides can have a discussion about it. That's the way that these classic films have always been made and um, aren't being made anymore because they always choose a side. In entertainment, stop choosing sides. I think I'm going to end it right there because I'm starting to get a little bit heated on both sides because everyone just lashes out at the other one. And it's a constantly, it's constant mudslinging and throwing. But I also, uh, I was watching a live stream on uh, Midnight's Edge. A lot of y'all don't know, um, Naganal, please link them in the description. I was watching them and I think the guy's name was Sparky who was talking. He's like, no, if they are allowing like one of the game directors or one of the ex lead writers or anything to go out and do interviews and they're publishing this and they're not, you know, making retracting statements or anything. I am not buying your thing anymore. Not even going to do it. Not even going to try to play it. That's what we're seeing nowadays from people who uh, don't care. A lot of people don't care. I think this is another thing. Okay. I'm getting a little bit too amped, but I think this is another topic that we should maybe kind of broach, and that might be in a later video. A lot of people are so sick and tired and fed up and just want that escapism that they don't care when these issues are brought up as immediate turnoff, whether it's on one side or the other. And so that's why I leave it with y'all today. I, I hope there's a hearty discussion. I hope everyone is respectful to each other. But I just don't see why it had why politics, why personal preferences have any seat at the table when it comes to discussions about our entertainment. Let me know what you think. Uh, we can always do follow ups. And until next time, I'm multi. Y'all take care.